name's Mike, I'm zero MSN and I finally finished just quickly having a look at the how what I've done for the wiring on this uh, um, what is it it's a, a free um, beam system uh, for two meters 70 centimeters and 23 centimeters and uh, I've decided to go down a slightly different route than what most people would perhaps I'm not sure uh, but I've got a single coax feeder um, being spread out into three, three separate coax feeders going up to the um, to the actual um, beams and I've done it I can get it out using a triplexer now this triplexer is a comet uh, antenna triplexer um, that's for um, uh, what is it 1.3 to uh, 150 megahertz and then uh, 350 to 500 and then 840 to 1400 uh, megahertz so it covers 270 and 23 centimeters um, so that's how I've connected that up um, the idea is that it should hopefully just make life a lot lot easier uh, for me for running coax uh, feeds up and down um, I think I can get this because it's all in the wrong place as always it's, it's in an IP68 rated box um, cool that's all connected wonderfully I've got to come back up and connect a, uh, a clip through this to hold the coax um, but yes it comes down and then goes down to the uh, to the ground all the way down there somewhere um, and uh, that should hopefully work now I've got to test it for SWR I've done all of this put it on the wall um, connected all the coax up and uh, the uh, the feeder and uh, also the control cable etc so on and so forth without testing it which is dumb right so I mean I've tested the SWR of the antennas on the ground before I connected all this up but uh, I haven't tested any of this as I've gone so I've got no idea whether or not it's actually going to, to work or not um, I'm guessing it probably will um, so there we are I'm just about to take the ladders down and we'll give you a proper proper view here we go single pole Three beams, 72 and 23 centimetres in order from the bottom. With a Yesu 450 rotator side of the house, just above the chimney level, on a single pole, apart from the join there, which is an extension. As you can see, KT bracket on the bottom, another KT bracket halfway up, and then a final T at the top. So these are K's, K's, T at the top, T at the bottom, and it's stood on a pad. So all the weight's on the ground and the, the brackets are purely for holding it up. Um, it is perfectly vertical, tested and checked, both with plumb line and also with a spirit level. Um, and yeah, pretty good. Let's go and check the SWR because I haven't done any of that yet. Um, God, I hope it's good. Next thing to do is to run the control cable uh, into the shack properly instead of at the moment it's going through a window. So that's the next job. Okay, so we've taken the control cable down and followed the line of the coax around of the, uh, the pergola. There's the wooden one this side. By the top of the wooden one. And then down the wall grey cable is the control cable and that goes down and down and down and down and then at the bottom plenty of ferrite um, clip-ons before going into the wall now it's in the wall there and it's silicon in it's brown silicon um, plenty of ferrites as I said okay let's uh, just quickly test the SWR um, 
go down a bit. There we go. So 144 is the lowest one. Uh, FM, so we should get a um, SWR reading. No SWR reading. Okay, let's go up to 146. SWR just about uh, readable. Okay, so let's now go to the band on this one, 430, just about readable, 440, which is the top end for the UK, just about readable. So let's now get it into twenty three centimeters. I won't go anywhere else, I think think um, let's just put it into Fox Trot mic so that we get a carrier barely registers at the bottom. And let's go to the top of the band, which is where we should be really. Uh, 1296-ish. Uh, no movement at all, so that's wonderful. So actually, I'm quite a happy bunny with all of that um, uh, stuff. The, the free beams are up and they're working well. Um, the uh, the uh, control cables plumbed in nicely. The coax has been fed down the wall very nicely. I've got a triplexer on the antenna side, another triplexer on this side. I'll do a cut and insert for you there. Um, and the use of the RG400, I think it is, which is the uh, the nice um, uh, copper uh, clear or see-through uh, cable that you could see uh, at the uh, the top of the um, pole um, is actually uh, an addition because I lifted the pole up another um, five or six feet or seven feet or so. Um, and unfortunately that meant that the um, uh, that's it, uh, Hyperflex um, 10, uh, the Massey and Poloni that I purchased, wasn't quite long enough to reach the, um, the, the triplexer. Uh, so I had to add a few um, meters, in fact, three meters, of um, another coax and the only thing I had that uh, had the loss um, equivalent to that was the 400 so I used the 400 and I'm glad I did because it's actually made it a lot easier to uh, to control and in fact if I had enough I think I would have probably replaced the entire uh, run of coax um, from the antennas to the uh, triplexer with 400 but hey you know um, you've got what you've got anyway so that's worked uh, it's all in play um, so uh, effective radiation patterns. Now I spoke to Callum, the ex commander, um, about what I'd done, um, and he very kindly um, gave me some um, some maps of uh, the expected um, radiation patterns um, of the antennas, uh, and I'll insert them here. The first one is the two meters, um, how far I'll get, um, and the second one here is the 70 centimetre um, antenna, and lastly, the 23 centimetre antenna. Uh, so these are uh, the expected um, transmission patterns. Uh, I should get that every day. Obviously, conditions will make that uh, better or worse, um, but we'll see. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, to have a go. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Cheers for now. And in the in the shack, we put the signal through it and dummy load on the one port and whatever on the two ports and just measure on the uh, on the one. Um, but um, yeah, probably certainly working okay. Yeah, that uh, LMR. So I'm, I'm using the LMR on the LMR 600 on the on the satellite dish. I love a prize for a six meter length with plugs on, but uh, you know, I needed every dB I can get with that. So, but um, you know, if you lose a dB anywhere on the TV system. It's um, a job to make it all up, unless you've got a really big dish to start with. I've got about the minimum dish you could use for one meter for transmission, so I need every bit I can get.